If you have any Canadian coins in your coin collection, definitely watch this whole video. We're going to show you coins that sold at auction for some good money. So welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. If you guys are new, feel free to check out all the other coin and collectible videos here on the channel. As always, let's just hop into this one. All right, starting off first with a 1947 Canadian one cent coin. So a Canadian penny here, it has a very good grade of a Mint State 67 red by the coin grading company NGC. Now, this also is the blunt seven. So the seven there on the reverse of the coin. Here's an image from coinsincanada.com. Here on the left, you'll see a pointed seven. Here on the right, you'll see the blunt seven. So there's the difference for the sevens of the 1947 Canadian one cent coin. Now, because this coin has that high grade, this penny ended up selling for over $1,300. $1,300. Now here is a mint error coin. It is a 1964 Canadian penny. Now this has the reverse struck through a capped die. Again, you can look for die caps on any, uh, you know, US coins really, you know, all kinds of denominations, not just pennies. You can look for that on other coins as well. Uh, you'll see that here on the reverse of the penny. Now this coin is graded at a mint state 62 brown and this penny sold for a little over $100. Nothing substantial, but it's a $100 coin. Now here is a 1966 Canadian $1 coin. So a silver dollar coin here. Uh, it does have an incomplete curved clip. So we'll see that line there on the left side of the coin here. So typically, you know, if you've seen my other videos, you know, we show a lot of clipped coins. So this is like where that clipped would have been had it not been incomplete, had it been a complete clip, you know? So we'll see that on the reverse as well. This dollar coin sold for over $185. Moving on to a very, very expensive coin. This is the 1969 Canadian 25 cent coin design. So a quarter design that was actually overstruck onto a 1906 German 20 mark coin. So this is just phenomenal. I don't even know how something like this happens. Of course, this is like one of a kind here. So you'll see the design of the German 20 mark coin as well as the 25 cent Canadian coin design. That is just amazing. You'll see that lettering from the 20 mark there. 1906, you actually see the date there at the bottom of the coin here on the reverse. That is amazing. This coin ended up selling for $21,000. 21 grand. Now here is a 1979 Canadian penny. This one cent coin here has a grade of a mint state 65 and it was actually struck on a New Zealand one cent planchet. Uh, so struck on the wrong planchet here. This coin ended up selling for around $200. Now here is a 1980 Canadian penny. Now this one cent coin here is graded by PCGS, the coin grading company, at a mint state 64 red, so it's in you know pretty good condition. However, it's got an amazing error here. So this coin does not have a front design, an obverse design. It only has two reverses because it was struck with two reverse dies. Uh, that is absolutely amazing. So here's one side of the coin. Here's the other side of the coin. Just amazing. That is uh, such a rare error. So, you know, always check both sides of your coins, of course. Uh, there are plenty of, you know, magic coins out there where, you know, you get like U.S. quarters. You can get uh, doubled, uh, you know, heads or doubled reverses of quarters that you can buy for a few bucks or so. Uh, but this is actually a mint error. And that's why this coin sold for over $9,000, nearly a $10,000 coin. Here's another 1980 Canadian one cent coin that was struck on a New Zealand one cent planchet. So the other was a 1979 penny. This is a 1980. The other was graded at a mint state 65. This is graded at a mint state 64 red. And this penny sold for around $165. Here is a 1982, what was supposed to be a 1982 one cent coin, but it's actually muled with a Canadian dime. Uh, so that is really awesome. Look at that. That's amazing. 1982 one cent design there. $2,700 is what this coin sold for. Nearly a $3,000 coin. Here is a no dated five cent Canadian coin. So Canadian nickel. 
and it's graded by PCGS at a mint state 63. This coin was actually struck with two obverse dies. So that penny had uh, two reverse dies, struck by two reverse dies. This is struck with two obverse dies. So it will not have a reverse uh, design. It has two obverse designs, which will give it a lot of value. This coin ended up selling for over five thousand dollars next here is a penny that is dated anywhere from 1953 to 1964 we do not see the date as a result of the mint error here because the penny has the obverse half of two planchets that are struck together uh, that is just a really cool error there as well this coin ended up selling for over 225 dollars all right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.